Hi, in this video, I am going to discuss some GPAT model questions and also along with the discussion. So if you like this video, subscribe to my channel for more videos. So question number one, the combination of acetylcholine with physostigmine is an example of example of chemical antagonism, additive antagonism, supra additive synergism, non-competitive antagonism. So we know that acetylcholine, it is a neurotransmitter in the preganglionic sympathetic and parasympathetic neurons. So in physostigmine, it is an alkaloid that is a parasympathomimetic reversible cholinesterase inhibitor. So when giving in combination, so this physostigmine inhibits the acetylcholinesterase enzyme. So this acetylcholinesterase enzyme is responsible for the metabolism of acetylcholine. So when given in combination, so more acetylcholine is increasing we can observe. So here the given that chemical antagonism, additive antagonism, superadditive, synergism, non-competitive antagonism. So here the increasing of concentration of acetylcholine we can observe by giving with the physostigmine. So the answer is the supra-additive synergism. So here what do you mean by chemical antagonism? So a drug reduces the concentration of an agonist by forming a chemical complex. We can call it as a chemical antagonism. And what is mean by additive antagonism? So additive antagonism is the net effect of the combined chemical interaction is zero. Essentially one cancels out the other. And supra additive synergism means so when a mixer of two or more drugs produces a greater response than expected. So that means greater than the sum of their individual effects. What we observed in the combination of acetylcholine and physostigmine. And non competitive antagonism means it binds to an allosteric site on the receptor to prevent activation of the receptor. Second question. DASH is an endogenous protein calpine specific inhibitor. So calpine, it is a calcium dependent cysteine protease. So it is found to be associated with the apoptosis and myogenesis. So apoptosis means nothing but it is a uh, death of cells and myogenesis is nothing but a formation of uh, muscle tissue. So we can see the calpine inactive form it is converting into active form that is calpine it is giving so the inhibiting by calpastatin so the answer is the calpastatin so calpastatin is an endogenous protein specific inhibitor the third question which of the following is not an adverse effect of carbonic anhydrase inhibitor so carbonic anhydrase inhibitor the common side effect of nausea we can observe sedation metabolic acidosis but we cannot observe any neurosis so the answer is the neurosis we can observe here so the metabolic acidosis it is caused by inhibiting the reabsorption of bicarbonate ions from renal tubules and what is mean neurosis here means a relatively mental illness we can observe mild mental illness so it is not caused by the carbonic anhydrase inhibitor so answer is the neurosis and question 4 which is the target enzyme for the drug desipramine? So we know that desipramine is a MAO inhibitor, monoamine oxidase. So the answer is the monoamine oxidase. So what is my HMG coa reductase? So HMG coa reductase, it is a rate controlling enzyme of the mevalonate pathway. So this mevalonate pathway is responsible for the cholesterol and other isoprenoid biosynthesis. So most of the statin drugs are acting on this HMG CoA reductase. And what is my tyrosine kinase? So tyrosine kinase is a plays a, an important role in a variety of cellular processes including growth, motility, differentiation, and metabolism. So which catalyzes that means the tyrosine kinase catalyzes phosphorylation of tyrosine residues in target proteins using ATP, adenosine triphosphate. Monoamine oxidase, it is an enzyme involved in the degradation process for various amines released by the neurons and glia cells like dopamine, 
serotonin and norepinephrine and the cyclooxygenase it is a rate limiting enzyme involved in the conversion of arachidonic acid to prostaglandins we know that prostaglandins are plays a key role in the generation of the inflammatory response so here the desipramine so the target enzyme of desipramine is the monoamine oxidase and question number 5 dash is used to poison the catalytic action of copper in the hydrogenation of ethylene so you can see the most commonly uh, catalytic poisons including we can observe the carbon monoxide halide cyanide sulfide sulfite and phosphite and organic molecules such as nitriles nitros oxymes and nitrogen containing heterocyclics so in this we can observe the given options the cupric ions platinum carbon monoxide and ethane so you can observe the answer is the carbon monoxide question number 6 for neuroleptic activity in butyrophenon derivatives butyrophenon skeleton should contain so you can observe the attachment of a tertiary amino group to the fourth carbon so it is essential for the neuroleptic activity so the answer is the a and the other options like replacement of the keto moiety shortening of the three carbon propyl chain lengthening of the three carbon propyl chain these are not going to influencing in the neuroleptic activity so the answer is the attachment of a tertiary amino group to the fourth carbon we can see the mechanism of that uh, butyrophenone so the three carbon chain is optimal so this tertiary amino group attached to the fourth carbon of the butyrophenone is important question number 4 sorry 7 which of the following is the criterion for a chirality of molecule so you can clearly observe the options so the lack of mirror plane within the molecule so it is not the answer and presence of mirror plane within the molecule if a molecule has a plane with that of will cut it into two symmetrical halves so that is nothing but a chiral so this definition is completely indicating the a chirality of the molecule and the c option that is non superimposable nature of the object it is also wrong and compounds that contain a single stereo center are always chiral no always it is a chiral so if it is given a chiral means it is also correct but if they given that chiral so answer is the b option you can observe and question number 8 a combination of sulfa methoxyl with trimethoprom is used so we know well this is uh, to enhance the antibacterial effect uh, and it is not going to avoid the adverse drug reaction and it is not going to bypass the first pass metabolism and it is not going to enhance the blood brain barrier ability so the answer is to enhance the antibacterial effect the question number 9 so which of the following has the highest electronegative atom so electronegativity is the ability of an atom to gain an electron so we know that in the periodic table the highest electronegativity we can observe for the fluorine only the electronegativity is 4.0 and the lowest electronegativity we can observe for the cesium that is the electronegativity is 0.79 so lithium is having the electronegativity 0.98 and the neon it is a noble gas so we cannot observe any electronegativity for that so answer for the highest electronegativity atom is the here fluorine and question number 10 which of the following is false per phase 1 reaction of drug biotransformation so which is the false statement we should identify so an existing functional group in the molecule is masked by the addition of a new group so this definition is nothing but pro drug not related to the biotransformation so this statement is wrong we can observe false and option b a new functional group is introduced into the molecule so this we can observe in the biotransformation and an existing functional group is converted to another so this also we can observe in the biotransformation nothing but metabolism convert small molecules with a hydrophobic into water soluble compounds so this also we can observe in the biotransformation what is a false statement in this is the a option that is an existing functional group in the molecule is masked by the addition of a new group so if you like this video kindly like and subscribe and share to your friends and thank you